Hey, good morning. Want to share with you my tire correction jig or measuring device that I use when I try to develop my own traction compound. Yeah. So it's just a simple tire sander and the tire spins friction I measure with the amp draw. So for example, let's take this tire. It's uh, what we used in uh, TITC last year. I think it's a sweep 40. And if I just take a baseline, it's dry. The amp draw is 1.8 to 1.7, 1.92. All right. So that's the baseline. Somewhere between 1.7 to 2, probably because the tire is no longer round. So it might have high spots, low spots that affect the pressure and grip. So it's not good. It's uh, some parts of the tire, it gives more grip than other parts of the tire. It's an inconsistent. But what I want to share is what is the effect of adding uh, traction compound, for example, like gold. So let me, let me show you all right and by the way i can use my hands to apply it it's very safe so i sell this but only in the philippines i can't export liquids There normally you leave it on for maybe five minutes. With gold, actually, it's also a conditioner. So if you're going to store your tires, you can apply it and then store it. And then you also can use it as a, a gripping agent. So when you race, put it on 10 minutes, five minutes, actually even 20, 30 minutes before, it's okay. It does not eat up the tires in my experience. And most importantly, no harmful chemicals. So I actually took a long time to develop this. This is version 100 maybe. <laughs> no, but seriously, it, it's, uh, it contains about three ingredients. Um, the trick is how to get grip, but at the same time make the car flow through the corner and not make it sticky and stuck and slow. So it's a kind of dilemma, grip but flow at the same time. And I'm at this version now. This is what I sell and what I use to race. All right. I think it's, uh, we'll just wipe it off a bit. I would normally leave it longer for it to soak, but for the purpose of just this video, let's get on with it. Okay, that's so earlier it was 1.8 to 2, and now it is at 2.3. 2.5, 2.6, all right, so 2.7, 2.5, 2.6, 2.7, all right, uh, you can see it's not just voodoo, um, I do try to m use scientific measure like current draw to measure the um, increase in grip. By the way, I just use brass, so it's consistent. Um, it's a consistent surface to measure friction, I think. So I hope you like that test. And actually what I do, I also buy other traction compounds and I do um, 
I try to analyze their grip levels and then I try to formulate something similar or something more or something less. It depends on the track condition. If the track grip is very high, I, I, I do have a formula for lower grip, but most of the time I sell, what I sell here is for medium to high grip. Uh, especially works very well in high grip. It also works in very hot temperatures. I'm gonna use this in our race in Thailand next month. TITC RC Addict. It's a big track, uh, very hot. So this helps keep the tire cool and the grip lasts consistently for over five minutes. So some, some of the other compounds, they work, they give good grip, but will only last 10 laps or two minutes. So it's a compromise, right? I need something that will last five minutes. All right. I hope you, this helps. Uh, this is just for me. I just, my own, since I, I tried to develop a, a traction compound, I made my own jig. Since I couldn't find anything to buy, I think it's pretty nice, simple. Uh, simple, cheap, but does the job. All right, if you have questions, just drop it in the comment. If you want to buy this and you're not in the Philippines, sorry. Again, I cannot export yet. <laughs> but if, I, uh, if you are in Thailand and you want to try it, just approach me. I'll, I'll bring a few extra bottles uh, to sell in Thailand at the end of February. And if in your Manila, just visit our Shopee store. Uh, you can order it. There's a, Just look for gold RC traction compound. Uh, it should be there. There are a lot of sc uh, spammers who try to sell this at a much higher price. I'm selling it at 400 pesos. So that's our store. The rest are fake, fake stores. <laughs> Don't buy from them. All right. Have a good day. And this is what I do at home. I tinker and try to get you know tools to to improve performance all right cheers